Okay, here's an example of how we process these photos. They've already been scanned and that's a whole other process all by itself. So this is one that's done, so we're going to have to open up a file, find the, the next picture that needs to be processed. And part of it is getting rid of all those little dog ear things on the corner that held in the photo album. Plus the pictures tilt a little bit, so we go Control u and we've got to rotate it just a little bit. Probably a 0.4 will do it. Okay, that looks right. Now you may not notice it, but it just rotated just a little bit. Now we got to crop it. So we draw a box. That looks good. And then we hit Control Y, and that's a nice little crop. Now we got to go Shift G, and we come up with a whole menu of adjusting the color or the contrast and the gamma and all that. The only thing missing from uh, this program is the program is called Irfan View. It's sort of a poor man's Photoshop. Uh, it lacks scopes that let you see whether you're exceeding any values or not or doing anything right. So I'm doing it all by eye, which may be wrong because it's not a certified monitor or anything. It's just fairly well-adjusted monitors. Most are pretty good, and the results came out pretty good. So I've adjusted some contrast and diddled with the gamma. We say, OK, that looks good. Now, this is a fairly soft photo, but uh, we do a Shift S. And that's a sharpening process. You won't see it on here. Another shift S. These soft pictures, you can't take a soft focus picture and make it sharper. So then we do Control S to save it back. And we save it over the original file. And we're done. And now that picture is ready to be dropped into Picasa and saved for eternity. And we're not even sure. That might be Erling Brunlin there. I'm not sure who it is. End of story.